Hi everyone, design of bridges. Discussing here the design of an abutment. In the previous section, we have taken one example problem of an abutment. And this is the figure of an abutment. First step, sulfate of an abutment. We have calculated the sulfate of an abutment. It is 251.52 kN. Note that the stability of the abutment is verified at the bed level and the total sulfate is 251.52. In this session, we move on to step 2. Dead load from superstructure. Dead load from superstructure. Okay, dead load from superstructure to the abutments. Okay, it includes dead load includes from the superstructure includes deck slab weight, girder weight. Okay, these are the dead load from the superstructure to the abutments. Here we have three girders, longitudinal girders, one, two, and three. The span of the bridge is, it is given in the question, 15 meter, and the depth of the girder is 1.4 meter. It is also given in the question, and let the width of the girder be 300 mm, 0 0.3, 0 0.3 meter width of the girder. Okay, we have three girders, one, two, three. The span of the bridge is 15 meter and depth of the girder 1.4 meter and let the uh, width of the girder be 300 mm. Then I show you a figure. Okay. Footpath six hundred mm on either side. Okay, IRC class AA loading, this is 7.5 meter, that means the total width 8.7 meter, it is 0 0.6, 0 0.6 here and plus 7.5 meter. Dead load calculation, dead load equals first three girder 3 into length 15 meter into depth 1.4 into breadth 0.3 into 24 its unit weight plus weight of the deck slab it is length 15 into breadth 8.7 into depth the depth of the slab is given in the question 200 mm, that is 0.2, into its unit weight 24 plus the wearing coat. Here, wearing coat. Okay, assume a thickness of wearing coat 80, thickness of wearing coat 80 mm, assume that, then length 15 into breadth 8.7 into depth 0 0.08 into its unit weight wearing coat unit weight is 22 okay we will get 1309.68 kilonewton okay the dead load includes girder weight deck slab weight and wearing coat weight this is the total dead load. Total dead load 1309.68 kN. Next, dead load per abutment. 
we have two abutments. The first and last support of the bridge are the abutments. So we have two abutments. Then the total dead load 1309.68 divided by 2. It is 654.84 kilonewton. Okay. Then dead load per meter meter run of abutment it is 654.84 divided by 8.7 and it is 75.26 kilo newton where 8.7 is the width of the dead slab okay these are the dead load calculation Three live load calculation live load reaction is maximum live load reaction is maximum when the wheel is nearer to the support okay assuming that the full portion of the wheel assuming that the full portion of the wheel is within the span the full assuming that the full portion of the wheel is within the span okay then live load calculation live load reaction equals w into l for irc class a a loading a a tract loading w equal to 700 kilo newton then comes to the live load reaction equal to w into lw as per irc 700 kilo newton into l span 50 minus the distance it is 3.6 as per irc divided by 50 w w into l it is 616 kilo newton okay live load reaction is 616 kilo newton then comes to the total load total load includes sulfate plus dead load plus live load sulfate 251.52 plus dead load 75.26 plus live load reaction 616 and the answer is 942.78 kilo newton this is the total load in this session we concluded that the total load as calculated as 942.78 kilo newton in the next session we shall compute the earth pressure refer these test books thank you